backyard bird watching is a huge hobby all across North America. People love being able to look out their windows and see all of the different species coming to partake in the feast. One of the most exciting things about backyard bird watching is being able to identify the plethora of different birds that reside in backyards and distinguish them from one another. If you'd like to learn about some of the common species you might be seeing in your yard, then this is the video for you. Here are 15 common backyard birds of the Midwestern United States. American Goldfinch American goldfinches can light up a yard with their bright coloration and cheerful songs. During their breeding season, goldfinches can be identified by the yellow that covers their body, as well as the black on their head and wings. During non-breeding season, their colors are more subdued. American goldfinches can be found in every state in the continental United States at one point of the year or another. They follow a south to north migratory pattern, wintering in the southern states in northern Mexico, and breeding farther north in the United States and southern Canada. If you want to attract goldfinches to your yard, putting up seed feeders, especially thistle and sunflower seeds, can be a great way to draw them in. Once American goldfinches find a reliable food source, they will often stick around, content to feed with other backyard birds, especially other finches. Morning Dove Morning doves are plump, gray and peach colored birds widespread across North America. They are slightly darker on the back and wings, and lighter on the underside. They also have noticeably pink feet. Morning doves are year-round residents in most parts of the continental United States, and move north into southern Canada in the summer. Look for the species perched on power lines, rooftops, and tree branches in or near your yard. Another place to look for morning doves is along the ground, where they are well camouflaged against the earth and leaf litter. You don't have to do much to attract these birds, as they are quite numerous and will feed at platform feeders, as well as under other types of feeders. Downy Woodpecker Downy woodpeckers are petite-looking woodpeckers, identified by their small bill, white underside, black and white wings and back, and red spot on the head of the males. They look very similar to the slightly larger hairy woodpecker, you can check out the link in the description below for more info on how to differentiate these two species. Downy woodpeckers are year-round residents throughout most of the U.S., with the exception of some of the southeastern states. They can be seen climbing up and down tree trunks and branches looking for food and bark, and excavating insects and larvae that live under the wood. If you want to attract downy woodpeckers to your yard, putting up suet is a great way to do so. Suet will also bring in other types of woodpeckers, nuthatches, and more. House Sparrow House sparrows are probably one of the most familiar bird species in the United States due to the fact that they are extremely common in cities and around human habitation. Males have a gray underside, a brown mottled back, a gray cap, and a chestnut marking by the eye. Females have the same gray underside and a similar mottled back but far less extravagant facial features. There is a lot of debate about house sparrows, as they are actually a non-native species in the United States, and have been known to cause problems for some of the native bird species, especially cavity nesters like bluebirds. Realistically, house sparrows have been in the country so long that they won't be going anywhere anytime soon, and tend to hang out in groups near bird feeders and buildings. They will eat a wide variety of seeds and are also fond of cracked corn. Check out some of our other videos about house sparrows, including how to dissuade them from visiting your bird feeders. Red-winged blackbird. Red-winged blackbirds are aptly named, as the males are a shiny black color with a distinctive red and orange colored patch on each of their wings. Females look drastically different as they are a mixture of brown and tan and have a noticeable eye stripe as well as striping on the underside. For many people in North America, red-winged blackbirds are a species that marks the beginning of spring as they are among the earlier arriving migratory birds to move north. While they can sometimes show up in low numbers, more often than not, they travel and feed in large groups. These flocks are not always just composed of red-winged blackbirds, but also many other blackbird species, including grackles and cowbirds among others. Chances are you'll hear these loud birds before you see them, as they have one of the most recognizable calls in the country. <laughs> Blue Jay One of the brightest backyard birds in the eastern United States, Blue Jays not only have a beautiful color pattern, 
but also have loads of personality. Like most jays, these intelligent birds are very social and inquisitive. They make a variety of sounds, including their typical squawking noise, various alarm calls, and even an imitation red-tailed hawk call, good enough to fool Merlin's sound ID feature. Given their large size and somewhat aggressive nature, blue jays can cause a commotion when they visit feeders, although they typically don't stay very long, but prefer to grab a food item and fly off with it. Some things they are particularly fond of are walnuts and peanuts, but these omnivores eat many different things. American Robin Known by many as a harbinger of spring, robins are among the earlier arriving migratory birds in the north each year. However, not all of them migrate, and some stay in the northern parts of the country as long as they can find enough food. Easily identified by their grayish colored back and orangey chest and underside, these members of the thrush family can be seen more often hopping around the yard than at a traditional feeder. American robins' diets change depending on the time of year and the food that's available. During the warmer months, robins feed on insects and other invertebrates, most notably worms, which they pull straight from the ground. During the colder months of the year, and in areas where the ground is frozen and no insects are around, American robins feed mostly on fruits, including berries and crab apples. White-breasted nuthatch White-breasted nuthatches are extremely entertaining to watch around a bird feeding station. These acrobatic birds hop up and down trees, hang upside down, and make the distinctive laughing call. White-breasted nuthatches have a grayish blue back and wings, black cap on their head, and white underside, making them fairly easy to differentiate from other birds that climb up and down trees, such as woodpeckers and brown creepers. These spunky birds eat many different types of food, including seeds, which they will typically nab from feeders and take to a perch to eat or store for later. They will also eat from suet feeders as well. White-breasted nuthatches can be found in places with deciduous trees and are less frequent in coniferous areas. They live all across the continental United States and are generally non-migratory, although they do have regional movements in some parts of the country. Dark-eyed junco. Known by many as the epitome of a snowbird, due to the fact that they move south into the continental United States in winter, dark-eyed juncos are among the most numerous birds in North America. They come in many different subspecies, but all have a somewhat similar appearance, with either gray or brown on their back and wings, and a light-colored underside. Some subspecies, such as the Oregon subspecies, have a dark-colored hood. Members of the sparrow family, dark-eyed juncos are very common around bird feeders, and have a penchant for feeding along the ground, oftentimes with other species, such as American tree sparrows. These winter birds can be quickly identified by looking for the white edges on their tail, which are extremely visible in flight. Northern Cardinal One of the most well-known and beloved birds in eastern North America, the Northern Cardinal is easily identified by the male's bright red color and black mask. Females are much more dull, sporting a grayish tan color, but still showing red on their crest, wings, and tail. Away from backyards and bird feeders, cardinals prefer habitats with dense cover and tangled branches. However, males can sometimes be seen out in the open singing. Around bird feeders, cardinals can be fairly skittish and are among the species that will feed latest in the evening, often showing up after the sun has already set. If you live in areas near deciduous forests or even shrubs and other cover, northern cardinals will most likely find your bird feeder. House Finch House finches were originally native to the western half of the United States and Mexico. They were released in New York after trying to sell them in the pet trade. Affectionately known as the Hollywood finch, they now inhabit the majority of the United States, adding color to the backyard birding scene, with the males having bright red on their head and chest, as well as a darker streaking on their sides. Females are more drab, lacking the red, but still sporting the same dark streaking. House finches can often be seen as seed feeders eating alongside other backyard bird species. They will also eat fruits, especially during the colder months where they frequent berry bushes and other sorts of fruiting trees. Black-capped chickadee. One of the friendliest and most curious birds in the region, Black-capped chickadees are a very common sight in backyards and around bird feeders. 
identified by their gray back and wings, tan wash on their sides, and black cap and throat. These birds make a variety of songs and calls, including their springtime cheeseburger call and namesake chickadee call. Black capped chickadees are abundant in forests, parks, and other areas with at least some trees and vegetation. These cheerful birds eat many different types of food items, including insects, berries, suet, and seeds. Around bird feeders, black capped chickadees will usually take a seed and fly to a nearby perch to consume it. As mentioned, these birds are incredibly friendly toward humans and can even be trained to take seeds directly from the hand. Common Grackle In the Midwest, common grackles typically arrive in early spring, where they can quickly monopolize bird feeders along with other blackbird species. These medium-sized birds are dark-bodied, but have an iridescent sheen along with a blue head. For much of the year, common grackles consume mostly seeds, but when available, they will also eat different animals, ranging from small invertebrates to larger creatures like amphibians and even small mammals. Keep an eye out for these birds during migration, as they can sometimes show up in some impressively large flocks, making their noisy calls. European Starling European starlings are a common sight in cities as well as agricultural areas. These birds were not originally native to the United States, but were brought over around the same time that other European species such as the house sparrow first made their appearance in the New World. Starlings are very appealing looking, with their plumage ranging from silky black with iridescent purple and green to speckled with white depending on where they are in their molt cycle. Starlings can dominate backyard feeders, as they show up in large groups and eat a variety of different seeds. Speaking of large groups, starlings are known for their undulating flocks, called murmurations, which are quite the spectacle to see. Ruby-throated hummingbird One of the smallest backyard birds, the ruby-throated hummingbird is by far the most common hummingbird species in the eastern United States. Males have a shiny green back, wings, and head, along with a brilliant red throat. Females lack the red throat, but have the same green color as the male. Ruby-throated hummingbirds are common sights around backyards in the Midwest in spring and summer, where they quickly buzz in to feed on flowers. If you have a flower garden, you can plant specific flowers that these birds love, or put out a hummingbird feeder. Feeding backyard birds can certainly be a fun and enjoyable experience. Getting to know the species visiting your yard can make it even better. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you'd like to learn more about a particular bird species, or the birds of a different region, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.